It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. You'll win somehow. So give up on the bottom, baby. It's hard, I know. Okay, so hopefully some of you saw my last video. I had to take some time off of caffeine, which was extremely difficult. Not only because I love coffee, but also because I was in Las Vegas. And obviously when you're in Vegas, you're gonna be sleep deprived, you're gonna be tired, but we made it through. And it just goes to show that if you don't treat your body right, it will tell you about it. Now, by my eye twitching like crazy, that was my body telling me that one, I probably was drinking too much caffeine, which I most definitely was. I wasn't getting enough sleep, which I don't know if I've done any better on that, but cutting out caffeine has cured my eye twitching. I have not noticed it in the last three days, which has been huge because it's been very annoying and a little bit embarrassing. You're talking to somebody and they're just looking at you like, what is wrong with this guy? So, today was my first time introducing caffeine back into my life and hopefully I'm gonna be a little bit more moderate about it. I'm gonna try, just one cup of coffee per day, that's the goal. So, moving on to the workout, we started with some Spoto presses. Now, you're gonna look at this and you might be like, you look like that bro at the gym who doesn't bench with a full range of motion, just trying to bench as much as he can, but that is not exactly what I'm doing. So, the reason for the Spoto press is to learn two things primarily. One is to control the weight on the way down, and two is to stay tight throughout the movement, which is something that I've really struggled with, especially my first time running PRS. I really struggled staying tight on my three rep max sets. So hopefully this will help me improve. Johnny Candido actually has a really good quick video on photo presses. If you guys want to check that out, check that out. I will link it down below. So after moving on with the, to the photo presses, I just did two sets of 12 reps, no AM wraps on that. And then we moved on to some deadlifts. Now I've never deadlifted after bench press before, but Mark McQueen actually brings up a great point on this. He always says that deadlifting after bench is very sport specific because that is what you would do in a powerlifting meet. So I do see its purpose and I see why Garrett is programming it in that way. And I actually, at least as of now, don't have any dedicated deadlift days. So no days where I'm going in and deadlifting first and then moving on to accessories. So this is gonna be interesting, especially given that I'm gonna be deadlifting in the eight to 12 rep range. Today was two sets of 12 reps, which was pretty challenging, even though I was only using 260 pounds, just that endurance gives out pretty quick. Not to mention, that third set was an AMRAP set. So again, unless in case you didn't catch it in the last video, these AMRAP sets are t not until complete failure where your form is breaking down just to get up the reps. And it's supposed to be an AMRAP until about an RPE 9, so your form does not break down. And I ended up getting about... reps which is when I felt my form slipping a little bit and it wasn't my strength giving out it was my endurance but again that is going to get better over time as I continue to do these types of workouts after that I moved into what I would consider fluff work so I did some tricep extensions nothing really too exciting there and then we moved into some chest supported rows he left it up to me so I decided to go with this t-bar movement haven't really done done a movement like this in a long time so I figured here I would just work on explosiveness we're still working within the 12 to 15 rep range so that was really the end of the workout it's interesting that these workouts are much shorter than I'm used to but with these AMRAP sets it is killing me. I mean, these are tough workouts. So not as much time, but you're getting adequate volume because obviously I'm doing higher reps and the AMRAP sets really help make up for that. So that was the end of today's workout. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon. Some of you might remember from a previous video, I talked about this website called SocioFit and I am in no way affiliated with them, but I think it's a really cool website. It's pretty much a big database of all the YouTube fitness channels. You can get on there, try to find new channels and you can go to the channels that you like, see how they're growing, just see different statistics on them so of course to a math nerd like myself I enjoy that kind of stuff and the creator of that website Steven sent me an email this evening he said congratulations on 20,000 subscribers and I had no idea that I even hit 20,000 I'm not gonna say that oh I don't look at the numbers because I do I know some people will try to play that card like oh I don't even look I don't even know where I'm at every morning I'm on there I'm looking at views subscribers all the data analytics but he emailed me like 5 p.m. when I was at work 
and it just kind of made my day. 20,000 subscribers, I cannot believe that. When starting this channel, I think I've said this in a video before, I thought maybe if I got like 500 subscribers, that would be pretty cool. 20,000, I know that's very small in terms of YouTube, if, and you know, when you think about big channels, but wow, for just some average guy that just holds a camera in front of his face, pretty crazy. So thank you guys, that is awesome, 20,000. I know what you guys are gonna comment below, uh, so I'm gonna ask you anyway, what do you want? But I know you're gonna say 20,000 calorie challenge. I don't know, we'll see. So, I hope that this video, the, the quality is a little bit better in terms of audio quality. I am using this new microphone, so if it sounds terrible, it's because I don't know how to use it yet, but I'm hoping it sounds a little bit better. Maybe back, maybe we'll get rid of some of that background noise, and I know the mics on the DSLR cameras are not that good. So, that is my update, and it's funny, that little thing just made my day. I mean, I was having a good day, but Steven's email was kind of the icing on the cake. And it's just, you know what I was thinking about, actually? You can do so many things to make people's day. I mean, it's not like you have to do a whole lot. You can just say one nice thing to someone and it might just make their day. And you don't have to be fake about it. It's not like you have to lie to them, but this is a perfect example. When I know people are like going into the gym and they're really trying to better their lives or you know accomplish some goal, whether it's a 5K or lose fat or whatever it is, all you have to say to make their day better is, hey, I can tell you've been working hard in the gym or something like that, you know, not in a creepy way. Don't be like that creepy guy that's going around to girls and be like, hey, baby, I can tell you've been working out. Like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying. It's just, you know, a, a subtle compliment that will make someone's day a lot better. Or even guys, if you're like, hey, I can tell you've been lifting. You're looking a little bit bigger. I mean, if you're a guy telling them that, yeah, you're probably going to come off sarcastic because I do that to my friends. But anyway, let's eat. So very typical meal for me, just some potatoes and a hamburger and I already ate my broccoli because I got pretty hungry. And I try to show you these types of meals even though they're boring because sometimes I think I give the impression that I always eat like a madman. And you know, I do have fun making those videos where I eat tons of food and not the highest quality of foods. But this is how I eat more times than not. Especially now, I'm having trouble getting fat. I've been substituting chicken for hamburgers, which I don't have any problem doing because I think it tastes a lot better and it's helping me hit those fat macros. So, talked long enough. Let's dig in. Leave comments on the bottom and I'll just walk up to random people and do that. Now, I've never done this. Don't worry, I'll be back for some dessert before I go to bed. You guys have probably realized this already, but I'm a big fan of dessert. The only problem with it is that it just doesn't last long. I feel like you take one bite and it's gone, especially if you're trying to fit it within your daily number. So that is the reason that I try to make some higher volume, more macro friendly types of desserts. And people think I'm crazy when I say this, but I love rice cakes. I don't know why. I love all of them, but especially the chocolate ones. And I can't remember where I saw this, but someone made like a big stack of rice cakes that looked delicious. So that is what I'm going to try to do. So I made this icing just using some PES protein powder. And guess what, guys? If you use coupon code TRAVIS at the link below, you can save yourself 30%. Still feels weird to say that, but anyway, we added some Greek yogurt and also some of this fake marshmallow spread as well as this buff butter. Buff butter. Now, I was a big fan of this when I first tried it, but then the more I've used it, I've kind of missed regular peanut butter. It's just not as sweet, but it is runny, so that is why I use it for this. And the other thing that I love on top of dessert is playing with my food, so that's what we're gonna do. But I revolve yeah. around yeah. Yeah. I love the things you do. Yeah. Now doesn't that just look delicious? Like I said, I'm a big fan of rice cakes on their own, but when you add all this stuff to it, you got a very high volume macro friendly dessert. And I'll try to list the macros like right here maybe, somewhere around there. Hopefully I remember to do that. And if I don't, just let me know. So I'm gonna dig in and eat all of this. Now I am not gonna lie to you and say this tastes like chocolate cake from your favorite bakery or anything like that, but it definitely gets the job done. I'm cold, you head to toes. Trust me. I'm gonna get fueled up. I got a big workout tomorrow. I do have an AMRAP squat set, which is always tough.
Those AM rep sets are always a killer. They're never gonna be easy, but my body is starting to adapt a little bit to the higher reps. So overall, the program's going pretty well. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the workout footage, if anything. I know some of you are gonna be like, dude, we don't care about your workouts, we just wanna see food. I get it, I get it. So, and you know about food. Sometimes I just feel like I would rather have a food that might not taste as good as the real thing just so I can eat more of it. Just more satisfying that way. But I don't know, let me know your thoughts. What is your preference? So that's gonna be the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch it. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Leave any comments below and let me know what you think about the audio quality to this video. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. But thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch. Did I already say that? Probably did, but th thank you again. You deserve to hear it twice because you could, you could have been doing anything in the world that you wanted to and you chose to watch this video and that is freaking awesome. So thank you guys. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you next time.